What's the best thing about only having your right arm and right leg? You've got nothing left to lose. Mike with Iceberg Gaming here, and today's World of Warcraft Gold Farming Guide video is going to be a jewel crafting enchant. So, jewel crafters, you're in luck. Today we're looking at crafting the Panther mounts. There's uh, there's five of these. We've got the Sunstone, the uh, the Jade, the Sapphire, the Ruby, and then the Jeweled. Now, I personally only sell around four or five of these a week because the, it is a high cost to craft. It has a high crafting cost, and with the new gold challenge, I am reluctant to spend my gold. So if I would spend more gold and buy the materials and craft more of them, I'm sure I would sell more of them. But I generally sell around four or five of them. They cost about 20,000 gold to craft, and I generally sell them between 25 and 30,000 gold each. These are crafted with Pandaria Jewel Crafting. And um, the uh, the the four of them, uh, Jade, Ruby, Sapphire, and Stun Sunstone, all require, I believe, it's 65 Pandaria enchanting, and the Jeweled requires 75 Pandaria jewel crafting, if I remember right. And the Jeweled is basically combining Voltron of Jade Panthers into an Uber Jade Panther. And to be able to purchase these items, you need to be exalted with. Order of the Cloud Serpent in Missa Pandaria for all of them. Some of them require honored, some of them require revered to get, but to get all five patterns, you have to it exalted with the Order of the Cloud Serpent. Now, to buy this pattern, you are going to see San Redscale, the Serpent Keeper, and he's got the designs here for you. And he is located at the same spot that you grind the rep. We are on the continent of Pandaria in the Jade Forest forest at the Arboretum. And then once you've got your patterns, the reason why these cost so much to craft is the Orb of Mystery here. It uh, it costs about, it, it costs exactly 20,000 gold from a vendor, or you can buy it off the auction house for like 23,000 gold. So here's another bonus gold making strategy for you here. You could buy one of these off the vendor and list it off the auction house for a, a couple thousand gold profit. Now there is only one vendor that sells this orb of mystery and to get this item we need to come to the valley of eternal blossoms and we are right here in front of the mogu Sha pa shan palace uh, right here by the siege of orgrimmar raid entrance and the vendor is over here it is big keech he's got the rare antiquities and there you go there is our orb of, orb of mysteries for twenty thousand gold did you already know about these patterns? Are you already making gold off of the Panthers? Let me know in the comment section if you have and how much gold you've made off of them. Thank you so much for watching. Special thank you to my YouTube members, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you for making this channel possible. If you are enjoying the channel, if you're finding it entertaining or helpful in any way, please consider hitting the join button below the video to support the channel and become a member. Or you can subscribe to my channel on Twitch, if you can't afford either of those, you can give whatever you can through the YouTube Super Thanks and Super Chats or Twitch Bits, or I have a direct PayPal link in the description. If you can't afford any of that, you can support the channel for free by clicking my Amazon affiliate link the next time you go to make an Amazon pur purchase, or if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can subscribe to my Twitch channel for free.